Eagles' chances on winning the division this year? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Wrong, Cowboys Fan Talk. Right back like I never left. What's going on with y'all, man? Listen, you know the draft is coming up. We what? Eight days away, man. Draft is on deck. So the stories is coming out crazy. Um, all kinds of mock drafts. Everybody talking about this and that. Who going to take who? Who going to fall? And um, there's rumors out that the Cowboys are... Thinking about or, or eyeing a couple players that if they drop to the right place, they'll be willing to trade up and get. And that just makes me happy, man. Like I was saying in a couple of videos ago, the Cowboys seem more focused this year on the draft because we got specific needs we need to fill. But I like that they got their eyes on specific players. They're not playing the whole faith game like, I hope this dude fall to me. They really out here trying to get it done. It's for, well, at least I'm hearing that they're trying to get it done, which is dope. Um... The players are Caleb Farley. You know, the back issue has him sliding for the most part. We don't know if another team is eyeing him like they don't care about the back issues. Apparently, his medicals have come back good because they ran that um, a couple teams. Or I think um, some of the combine doctors, the normal doctors, ran some tests on him. And his, his back seems to be like it's going seems to be like it will check out. But he's still probably going to slide because of the back issue. So he might be there in the late first round, early second and from 44, the Cowboys, there are rumors saying the Cowboys would be willing to trade up to get him. Now, I know that depends on who we go with at 10. If we end up going with J.C. Horn, I mean, every day I'm back and forth, man. It's either it's certain and it's, it's technique. It's J.C. Horn and his dog mentality. And just, he reminds me, J.C. Horn reminds me of Jalen Ramsey. I'm telling you, they just got the same demeanor. And I would love to have that dog on my defense. Jalen Ramsey is, it's like, it's, um, what is it? It's contagious on how the dog mentality comes off of him and how he helps that defense to be more vicious. So that's why I've been kind of like, we don't have nobody like that on our defense, man. We got dogs. Um, well, D-Law kind of like that. But it's just nobody that's like that dude that, like Des Bryant was for the offense, man. We need that on our defense, man. That's why I'm thinking Horn brings a little bit more intangibles. That's the word I'm looking for. His intangibles is a little bit better. So that's, yeah, I think that's why I want Horn. Anyway, back to the topic. Um, if we take Horn, then we might not trade over Farley. But there's other prospects they're thinking about because they're saying, okay, if we take Horn and Collins is there, they might trade it for him. Or if they think, like, let's just say we early second round and Morrig is still around. Because they're saying he could go late first round. But if he's still on the board, you know, people been talking about him highly. We might trade up to get him. It just lets me know that the Cowboys are not stagnant, you know. Or in the, in the case that we traded back, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're not stagnant. We are really taking this draft seriously. These rumors, we're a smoke this fire. You know, I do think that the Cowboys have put out there to certain reporters, et cetera, that let these players know, to let people know that, if they're around, we really to move and shake. You know what I'm saying? You kind of let everyone know outwardly. So if a team is willing to move or trade at a certain point, they'll think, well, let me call Dallas because Dallas already said that they'll be willing to move up with one of these three players that could still be on the board. So I like that. It's It just has me thinking that this draft is not going to be like the last couple. And it's not that Will McClay draft's bad. It's just that I think we've had targets in previous drafts. And we just ain't moved on them, man. We just didn't let them. We stayed pat, and we just kind of took who was not even the best player, the the person that fit our scheme the best. Staying pat in, in later rounds just hasn't always worked out for us too well. You know, that whole picking players directly for your scheme thing doesn't always work out, man. Best player available, you know, but unless you target somebody. And if you target somebody, you've, you've, you've spoken to them, you feel like they're going to fit good, you go get them. We got 10 picks, man. 10 players ain't making this roster. I think we need to lead this draft with five to six players that definitely can help this team and just move and shake a little bit and make real good moves that can 
better this team. You know what I'm saying? Five to six good players that can be two or three starters, um, and then two or three good depth players, and then whoever you can pick up in um, the undrafted free agents, man. But I don't want them to just stand pat, take 10 players, and just weed them out. I want you to go get the good players, man. And all three of those players, whether it's Collins, who would bring – he has such an old school feel to him as far as linebacker wise. But all these players that are mentioned have real good football instincts. That's one of their main things. When you look up their draft profile on prospects, it's not just their specific talent. It's the fact that they have real good instincts. So I'm liking the players that I'm hearing that they're targeting. I'm just hoping we can get at least one. You know, um, the 12th pick or the 10th pick, I'm sorry, um, is going to be real easy for us to pick as far as whether it's Certain or Horn, you know, I'm still Team Pitts, but y'all just keep praying for it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> um, but if you take one of those two corners, then that lets you know where you want to go further in the draft. We're thinking linebacker, we're thinking corner, we're thinking safety. So that just lets me know that the team is focused on the three positions we need depth at and help at. You know, let's not act like Caleb Farley wasn't mentioned as one of the best corners in this draft. Right before that back surgery, it was Farley – then maybe certain. It wasn't always just certain or horn. Horn rolls up, you know, but I think it's because of his mentality, man. That dog mentality has people just like, that's what I need on my defense. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Collins, is, he just brings that old school feel. Linebacker-wise, he has great instincts. And then Morag is just seeming like that, that ball hawk safety that would set this defense off. You know, I know we got KZ. And I'm not even denigrating Casey. I just want some insurance just in case that Achilles didn't heal up properly. You feel me? So those things, coupled with some of the other draft rumors, have me really excited about this draft. But um, let's switch topics. Philly, man, what is y'all doing? What is what is what is this? What yo? I just gotta say one thing, man. Look. I don't usually troll as much, but I need to say I need to say this. I gotta get it out. There ain't no way in the world if Mike McCarthy came out and said that he was challenging players to rock, paper, scissors, that y'all would let us live. Nah, I ain't trying to hear it. Nah. Rock, paper, scissors? That's how y'all decide who's who's competitive. Dude got a stuttering problem. He like to play children's games. And y'all supposed to tell me that he's one of the best coaches in the division. One of the best young football minds. Rock, paper, scissors. We have, we have systems. And then when you learn those systems, we're we, we going to be smart. Come on, man. Come on, man. Call a spade a spade, Philly. Y'all got to hold this L, man. Hold the L. Nick Sariani is trash. Y'all got rid of Doug Peterson way too soon because y'all emotional like Carl Thomas. And now y'all scrambling. Y'all don't even believe in Jalen Hurts. That's the funny thing. That's the funny thing. It's a quarterback competition now. So so it's it's we move back because we believe in Jalen Hurts. But we might let Joe Flacco win the job. And those stories about them moving up, Philly want to draft a quarterback again. It's dissension in the ranks. The owner like Hurts. But Howie Roseman don't like it's funny to me, man. But look, them ain't my problems. It's just funny to laugh at y'all. Because if it was us, y'all be talking, well, I remember all the the you when y'all gonna pay your quarterback jokes. Ain't so funny no more, is it? <laughs> it's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk. Draft coming up, man. What we gonna do?